pause the video if you need more time. Practice good hygiene and wash your hands for 20 seconds. Let's start with the mashed potatoes. The items you will need will be an 8 ounce bag of Eidolon mashed potatoes, a whisk, measuring cup, and a saucepan. First, rinse off the dishes. Place the saucepan on the stove. Add four cups of water. Set your stove temperature to medium because we want the water to boil. It will take about five to seven minutes for the water to boil. This is boiling water. It's ready. Turn off the stove. Open the bag and pour it into the saucepan. Get your whisk and stir. Stir gently until the potatoes start to thicken. Hold on to the pot so it doesn't move. When the mashed potatoes are fluffy, you're all done. Next is the chicken gravy. Get a microwavable bowl. You'll also need a can opener. After you open the can, pour the gravy into the bowl. Microwave the gravy for one minute. After one minute, take out the gravy and stir. Microwave the gravy for one more minute. Now your gravy is ready. Now for the main course, rotisserie chicken. Reheating a rotisserie chicken in the microwave is certainly worth the effort. Remove the top part of the packaging. The clear plastic is not microwavable. Microwave the chicken for five minutes. Only grab bottom part of the container. Remember, the chicken is hot. Let the rotisserie chicken sit for a few minutes before cutting. Pour the chicken oils and juices that are left over on top of the chicken. Remove the butcher's twine from the chicken. Make sure you have a firm grip when holding the knife. Insert the knife in between the body of the chicken and the leg. Cut in between the drumstick and the thigh. Same as before, insert the knife in between the body of the chicken and the leg. Also, insert the knife in between the chicken thigh and leg. Next, cut off the two wings. Last, you want to cut the breast into slices. Turn the chicken and do the other side. Once you are done, put it on a serving plate. Steam fresh blended vegetables. Now for the veggies. First, get the veggie bag. Do not open the bag, just lay it down flat in the microwave. 
set the timer to 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Make sure you wear your oven mitts because the bag is very hot. After you take out the bag from the microwave, let it cool for 2 minutes. Open the bag and put the vegetables into a bowl. Now it's time to bake the chocolate chip cookies. The items you will need will be a cookie sheet and baking paper. That's optional. Most ovens take 10 to 15 minutes to heat up to the right temperature. So preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Open your bag of cookie dough. The cookie dough is pre-cut in squares. Just break off the squares and place the squares on the cookie sheet. Leave space between each cookie. We recommend to bake 12 cookies on a sheet. Four down, three across, evenly spaced. Always bake cookies on the middle rack. Bake the cookies for 12 minutes. Set your timer. When the timer rings, put on your oven mitts and take out the cookies. Let the cookies cool for 10 minutes and then put them on a serving plate. Hi, so we have our finished meal here. We have our chicken ready to go, sliced up. We have our mashed potatoes ready to go. Our gravy to go with the mashed potatoes. We have our steamed veggies. Oh, this is the best. You can add margarine, butter if you like. And of course, the best part of the rolls. And then our dessert, our cookies. Very tasty cookies. You'll have enough for tomorrow.